Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll solve one more problem in non-homogeneous linear recurrence relations. So in our previous session, we have already solved one problem. So where we have taken the function as a constant. And in this problem, we are taking a function as a multiple of n, right? So we know that the general solution for a non-homogeneous is a n is equal to a n h plus a n p. So where a n h is a general solution of a homogeneous and a n p is a general solution for a particular solution. Now we need to differentiate these two things. Okay. So I'll, I'll write this one as a homogeneous and this one as a f of function, f of n, some f of n. So we need to solve this particular uh, homogeneous equation. So let us take this one a n plus 4 a n minus 1 plus 4 a n minus 2 is equal to 0. So that is a homogeneous because here the nth term, the current term will be depending upon only the previous two terms. But here in this given question, you can see the nth term will be depending upon the previous two terms as well as some a t n, which is a multiple of n and which we are calling it as a function of uh, some function, right? So for this one, what we have to do? First, we have to convert into an auxiliary equation. So we have seen uh, different problems how to solve the homogeneous linear recurrence relations. So first, uh, auxiliary equation. So this can be converted into auxiliary like k square plus it is a second order. Okay, it is a second order because the highest subscript is n minus the lowest subscript is n minus 2, which becomes n minus n plus 2, which becomes 2. That is a second order. So the nth term will be square, k square. Next, n minus 1 will become k. n minus 2 will become k power 0. So 4 is equal to 0. So this will be the auxiliary equation. This will be the auxiliary equation for the given relation. So first we are dividing the complete non-homogeneous recurrence relation into two parts. One is a homogeneous, another one is a function. So we need to find the general solution for homogeneous, general solution for particular solution. So now we are using this uh, general solution for homogeneous. So from this auxiliary equation, we need to find the roots. So for, this is a quadratic equation. We'll be having two roots. So I'll write this one as k square plus 2k plus 2k plus 4 is equal to 0. So this can be written as take k as a common k plus 2 plus uh, 2 as a common k plus 2 is equal to 0. That becomes k is equal to minus 2 and again k is equal to minus 2. So obviously both are equal. Here the roots are equal, right? So these are the roots. You can consider k1 and k2. So if the roots are equal, here roots are equal. So what we have to do, if roots are equal, we have to use the general solution as a plus b into n into k power n. Okay, a n is equal to a n h. In this case, a n h. Because so if it is a just a homogeneous, we can write it as a n. Now it becomes a n h. So what is this one? We don't know a value, b value, but we know two. So a. So this will becomes a minus two b because b into minus two into minus two power n. Okay. So this is the general solution for homogeneous. So it is called as a a n h. A and H. So now we have to find the general solution for A and P. So previously, after completion of this one, what we are doing, we are taking the initial conditions and we are applying here. Okay, if n is equal to 0, we are getting A0 value. If n is equal to 1, we are getting a1 value. But here we should not apply these initial values for this part because this is only a part of a solution, but this is not a complete part. So we need to find the a and p, a and p, right? So here the function is, what is this function? 8n. So if the function is in terms of n, constant into n, no problem. Then the a and p, the general solution will be a0 plus a1 into n. Okay, if uh, we have seen what are the general solutions for different functions, right? So I'll post the link in the description, so you just go through that. 
so uh, from that table so a n p is equal to a naught plus a 1 into n now let it be this is an equation 1 what we have to do we have to substitute equation 1 in uh, let us take it this as a 2 and uh, see this as a 1 equation 1 okay so now equation 2 in 1 Okay. So, wherever we are having n, we can go with the n. Wherever you are having n minus 1, we go with the n minus 1. Wherever you are having n minus 2, we can go with the n minus 2. So, now what happens here? a naught plus a1 into n plus 4 into a n minus 1. So, a naught plus a1 into n minus 1. Okay plus 4 into n minus 2, a n minus 2. So, a naught plus uh, a 1 into n minus 2, okay, is equal to 8 n. Now, just uh, solve this one, a naught plus a 1 into n plus 4 a naught plus 4 a 1 into n minus 4 a 1, okay plus 4 a naught plus 4 a 1 into n minus 8 a 1 is equal to 8 n. So, just I have expanded this one. Okay. So, I am closing this one. I am erasing this one. I will write uh, this one here itself. a n into h it becomes uh, a minus 2 b into minus 2 over n. Yes, I am erasing this one. So, what we have to do? We have to solve this one. So, after this one, you can see a naught, 4 a naught and 4 a naught. So, that becomes 9 a naught plus a 1, 4 a 1, 5 a 1, 5 a 1 into n and uh, see this one. Yes. 5 a 1 into sorry yes 4 a 1 4 a 1 8 a 1 9 a 1 okay 9 a 1 into n plus constants there are few more constants a 1 yes minus 4 a 1 minus 8 a, a 1 so that becomes minus 12 a 1 is equal to a 8 n okay so I am writing the same thing here 9 a naught plus 9 a 1 into n minus 12 a 1 is equal to 8 n. So, after solving this particular solution, we are getting this one. So, you can differentiate the constants and the n terms. See, I will write here 9 a 1 into n plus 9 a naught minus 12 a 1 is equal to 8 a 8 n. Now, you can observe this is a nth part, okay, multiple of n and this is a constant. So, here on the right hand side you can have, this is a n part and you can write it as 0. So, this is a constant. So, this is a n part and this is a constant, this is a n part, this is a constant. You can equate, right. So, from this 9 a1 into n is equal to 8 n. Similarly, 9 a naught minus 12 a 1 is equal to 0. So, we are equating constants and we are equating n terms. Okay. So, here a 1 becomes, uh, just wait, here 8 uh, a 1 n plus 4 a 1 n plus 4 a 1 n 9, right. a 1 becomes 8 by 9. 8, uh, 8, 8 by 9 this is a a1 value what about now substitute here 9 a naught minus 12 into 8 by 9 equal to 0 so 9 a naught equal to what happens here uh, 4 this one is 3 and uh, 9 a naught is equal to 32 by 3 okay so, a naught becomes 32 by 
27 a not equal to 32 by 27 so we got a1 value and a not value okay here we got a1 value and a not value now you can apply in this equation too so that we will be getting a n p a n p is equal to a not a not means 32 by 7 plus sorry this one plus a1 what's a1 8 by 9 8 by 9 into n this is a general solution for a function this is a general solution for homogeneous so first we have divided both the things with the homogeneous and a function and we are equally calculating the general solution for both the terms now you have to find out the general solution for complete non-homogeneous linear regular distribution so hope you understood this part okay now So till now we got the general solution for both the parts that means homogeneous as well as the function now what happens a n is equal to this one a n h plus a n p a minus 2 b into minus 2 power n plus a n p which is a 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9 into n okay so this is the general solution so if your question doesn't have these initial values so this will be the result but here we are having a0 and a1 values so with that one so let us take n is equal to 0 so a0 is equal to a minus 2b into minus 2 power 0 plus 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9 into 0 so what happens here this becomes 1 and this becomes 0 so if this becomes 1 it becomes a minus 2b and a naught value is 1 okay plus 32 by 7 i think uh, we have made that mistake So, for example, if it is uh, k values are minus 2 and minus 2 and uh, general solution will be a n is equal to a plus b into n k power n, right. So, here n. So, we have substituted, uh, unfortunately, we have substituted 2 here. This will be n only, okay, a plus n, a plus n b, a plus n into b. So, n into b means here we can, we can write it as a 0 into b. Okay, I am extremely sorry for this. Plus E and B. Hope you understood. So, here we got uh, two values. Roots are minus 2, minus 2. So, the uh, solution, the general solution will be in this way. A plus B N into K power N. So, we don't know N value. We know only K value. So, the general solution will be like this. A plus N into B minus 2 power N. Minus 2 power N. So, unfortunately, uh, I have substituted N value also minus 2 please correct it okay yes now you can see a naught value is 1 1 is equal to a this becomes 0 this becomes 1 plus this becomes 0 32 by 9 so a value becomes 1 minus 32 by 9 which becomes 9 minus 32 which is a 23 i think yes so a is equal to minus 23 by 9 so we got a a value Okay, minus 23 by 9. So, 9 minus 32 divided by 9. 9 minus 32 is nothing but 23. Now, substitute n is equal to 1. So, what happens? A n is equal to a plus n into 1 into b minus 2 power 1 plus 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9 into 1. So, here we know a value minus 23 by 9. So, minus 23 by 9 plus b into minus 2 plus 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9. So, you can solve this one. So, it becomes uh, um, minus of minus it becomes. So, this is a multiplication. Yes. So, minus of minus plus it will become so 46 by 9 minus 2b plus 32 by 7 
plus 8 by 9. So it becomes 2b is equal to 46 by 9 plus 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9. So 2b is equal to you can take it 9 as a common. So 46. So you can take the multiplication 72 uh, 7 into 6 it's around 63 63 into 32 so so it becomes 2016 plus 8 so 2b is equal to okay what it becomes so 46 plus 8 54 and uh, 2016 it becomes 0 1 7 0 2 2 2 0 7 0 by 9 which becomes b is equal to 2 0 7 0 by 18 so it becomes 1 0 3 5 one zero three five by nine. So B value becomes so A value becomes minus twenty three by nine, and B value becomes one zero three five by nine. So simply we can apply that in this particular general equation. So I'm erasing this one. So just follow the steps. So uh, don't worry about the multiplications and large numbers. Don't worry about that. So A n becomes minus twenty three by nine plus n into uh, what is the b value 1035 by 9 minus 2 power n plus 32 by 7 plus 8 by 9 into n so this will be the general solution for given non homogeneous linear recurrence relation so uh, the the procedure is same Maybe the calculations, the plus or minus may be wrong. You don't worry about that. You can just follow the procedure. Okay. So after getting the general solution, apply the initial values. You will be getting two equations or one equation. So that from that you have to identify A and B values. Okay. So maybe the, the calculation may, might be wrong, but the procedure is right. Okay. So don't focus on the calculations. Right. So just focus on the procedure yes so hope you understood this one uh, let's stop here and uh, if you are having any uh, doubts regarding this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much